Oh, little kitty, look at that. What a magnificent lizard. If you think Komodos are scary, imagine meeting their giant cousin, Megalania, the largest monitor lizard to ever live. Wait, you mean there was a lizard even bigger than a Komodo? Oh, yes. So, let's bring it back to life and find out what if the Megalania never went extinct. Zoom in! This apex predator dominated the Australian ecosystem until its extension around 40,000 years ago. Its disappearance has been attributed to climate change, habitat shifts and possibly human activity. But what if this massive reptile had survived into the modern era? Firstly, Megalania survival would have dramatically altered Australia's ecological balance. As a top predator, it would have preyed on large marsupials such as kangaroos, wombats and even diprotodons had they endured as well. This would have pushed it into competition with dingoes and crocodiles, potentially restructuring predator-prey dynamics. It might also have kept invasive species like feral pigs, goats or deer in check. Though at the cost of targeting livestock introduced by European settlers. Moreover, Megalania's presence would have constrained the survival of medium-sized marsupials since apex predators exert strong top-down pressures on ecosystems. Unlike saltwater crocodiles, largely confined to northern waterways, Megalania would have roamed on open grasslands and forests, shaping terrestrial ecology much as lions do in Africa today. Its survival also raises questions about every human settlement in Australia. Evidence suggests humans arrived on the continent around 65,000 years ago overlapping with Megalania's final millennia. These predators could have slowed expansion, pushing communities to develop stronger cooperation, tools and shelters. Fear of giant reptiles may even have altered migration routes, delaying population growth in some regions. In modern times, Megalania would pose significant dangers to rural populations much as crocodiles do in Northern Australia. Farmers and ranchers would face livestock losses, leading to human predator conflicts. Conservation debates would emerge, similar to those surrounding tigers or wolves, with society torn between protecting a unique living fossil and ensuring human safety. Plus, if Megalania had survived, it would likely hold a central role in Aboriginal mythology, perhaps revered or feared as a powerful ancestral being. Its existence would also reshape modern cultural imagination. Giant reptiles in media might not be confined to dragons or dinosaurs, but grounded in reality. From a scientific perspective, Megalania's survival would shed light on reptilian gigantism, thermoregulation and evolutionary resilience. Comparing its traits with modern Komodo dragons could reveal why some megafauna endured while others vanished. Tourism, much like today's crocodile and Komodo encounters, would flourish around the spectacle of such a colossal predator. Yet, survival would not have meant safety for the Megalania. Its enormous size and rarity would have made it a target for hunters seeking trophies, skins or even exotic animal trade. Like tigers and crocodiles, it could well have been driven back to the brink of extinction 
not by natural forces, but by human exploitation. Trivia time! Did you know some scientists think it's possible that Megalania was also venomous? If it were, it would be the largest venomous animal known to have ever lived. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Ophelia. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. So, Kitty, still terrified of Komodos? Never mind.